Black slash Latinx people need to stop inviting them to the cookout for respecting us slash our culture. I wholeheartedly agree. I feel like a white person will do the bare minimum or just say I like black people and they're just automatically invited to the cookout. I'm just like, you don't see white people inviting black people to the golf course. What's up YouTube, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you guys can't tell by the title, in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to your unpopular opinions. And if we're being quite honest, I'm kind of nervous because if y'all think that I'm out of pocket, <laughs> baby. As always, I ask you guys to send in your unpopular opinions to my Instagram, which is at, this is not Kai Foster, but if you want to be featured in other videos, you can also follow my Instagram at Kai M. Foster. This video has been trending on YouTube for quite some time now, and my good sister Leah Simone actually did her own version of this, so make sure to check out hers on her channel. I actually had a feature in the video and I was kind of touched to say the least. Kai Foster just banks off her depression and to towards society. What YouTuber doesn't try to capitalize off everything? She talks about her mental illness on her channel, but it's when it's appropriate. So it's not like, you know, it's not like one of those people, you know who I'm talking about. Her bad attitude towards society. I feel like she doesn't have a bad attitude towards society because nine times out of 10, people have the same opinion on society as she does. And I feel like her opinion isn't bad or her attitude isn't bad it's just different from what people say do you know what i'm saying like she's one of the only people on youtube who can give her opinion without being bothered because she knows where she stands on this stuff and that's i love kai foster girl i know you're watching this love you don't let people say i get you down. i mean you learn things about yourself every day i've done several unpopular opinions videos in the past about school college relationships black people and i want to give you guys your own platform to share what you feel so that's what this video is going to be text over facetime depending on the person i personally prefer facetime because i like to see people's reactions i like to see what the vibe is what's going on i feel like a lot of things can get misconstrued through text they also said i don't think it's a big deal when guys refer to girls as females yeah we're getting real unpopular here that's great but it's wrong grammatically socially it's kind of rude ketchup is not supposed to go in the refrigerator i just want to know who raised you a colorist is worse than a racist TikTok is literally the most racist app to ever exist, LMAO. I wouldn't call it the most racist app in my personal opinion. I just feel like there's not much regulation on it. It's not about who you follow, it's just about what's on your For You page. So I feel like it's kind of hard to control what you see. There's definitely a lot of problematic behavior on there, but TikTok is also, I feel like, one of the only social medias that has like a very, very, very young base. So a lot of them are just ignorant. Greek life is shallow. Well, now that I'm not in college anymore, I don't really care about touching upon it. I never saw myself doing Greek life because, I don't know, I feel like the process of being broken down to be built back up, I just personally didn't agree with it, but I definitely support anybody like pursuing, like, hey, do you, you feel me? I don't know if I would call it shallow as much as the process of getting into it. Peanut butter and jelly is disgusting. I wholeheartedly agree. I never, I don't, I can't. <sighs> I don't get how it's bad for Hispanics to say the N-word when they've been saying it. It was wrong then, it's wrong now. There's really no gray area. Summer Walker is low-key problematic, but her music is so good though. I don't really think this is an unpopular opinion. She's definitely said some kind of like out-of-pocket stuff. And her music still is good. Um, yeah, I think... Yeah, I don't have an explanation for her. Pregnancy is a choice. You spread your legs knowing the possibility, condom or not. See, this is where y'all are getting too comfortable on this app. You shouldn't have kids if you're poor. <laughs> yeah, I don't necessarily agree with this. I think that capitalism is bitch and unfortunately it keeps people in certain levels of financial hardship. I think that you should be able to have kids if you're poor. Just because you're rich doesn't mean that you'd be a good parent. I definitely understand being able to provide for your kid, but I don't think that a person stuck in a certain financial situation should be deprived of life experience because America sucks or wherever they live financially sucks. Black slash Latinx people need to stop inviting them to the cookout for respecting us slash our culture i wholeheartedly agree i feel like a white person will do the bare minimum or just say i like black people and they're just automatically invited to the cookout i'm just like you don't see white people inviting black people to 
the golf course stop chasing for love let it come to you i definitely agree that you shouldn't chase for love i think that you can look for it but chasing is when it becomes problematic because i feel like chasing implies that you are either lowering your standards or going after somebody that just doesn't want you. High school isn't what it's made up to be, for sure. I definitely was not the biggest fan of high school, but even though I wasn't the biggest fan, that wasn't the reason why I think this. When we grow up, Disney Channel is shoved down our throat and then you get to high school and you realize that people are actually bitches. <laughs> Gay history should be taught in schools. I 100% agree. I feel like heterosexuality is forced down people's throat from literally birth and it's disgusting and i think it would make for a much more comfortable environment if education was way more inclusive there is no talking stage it's just dating dating doesn't mean a committed relationship yes 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 talking is just why are we glorifying communicating sweet tea is a sin <laughs> i don't like sweet tea unless it has lemon in it and i have so many southern friends that literally just go to restaurants and order sweet tea or unsweetened tea like are you okay? Tana Mojo is overhated. I'm probably gonna be hated for agreeing with this, but I kinda I kinda like Tana Mojo. I don't know if it's because I have a platform, but I don't know, I just feel like cancel culture is kind of gross and people grow, people learn. Social media and just media in general is so edited and just not always reflective of real life. So it's like, you really don't know who people are unless you meet them. Toxic parents are worse than absent ones. I have both. Um, which one is worse? Damn. Yeah, I'll take it back to you on that one. Dating shouldn't be a personality trait. Yeah, I definitely agree because then that goes down the drain and who are you? A lot of these YouTubers and TikTokers who say the N-word are young and can still change. I definitely agree. Like I said before, I don't like cancel culture. What I will say is that it's weird that a lot of white kids have a racist face because I was doing completely fine. You know, I was writing Wattpad fan fiction. You know, white people shouldn't be able to have or adopt children of color. I definitely see where you're coming from, but I don't agree because, okay, maybe they're not able to share that experience or relate in certain ways, but I feel like that is definitely a better alternative than like being stuck in an orphanage. The Office isn't that funny. You know what's even more unpopular? I haven't watched The Office at all in my life. America is overrated. Thank you. I was talking to a friend about this like a few days ago, but like, why do you own an American flag? What are you, what are you repping? Prostitution should be legal. I also agree with this one. I say this because I feel like it's a very dangerous profession and I feel like if it was accepted and things happen to women or whoever decides to participate, they could get protected. Instead, because it's illegal in a lot of places, people are killed and abused and are just neglected overall and can't go to the authorities and it sucks. Somebody said that New York is better than Chicago. I just... I'm not gonna give you what you want. Rihanna is not talented at all. Y'all only like her because she's pretty. I just, there's so many hits. There's Fenty Beauty. There's Savage. Times Fenty, there's... I respect it. TikTok glorifies white people. For sure. I, you know, it's crazy because I feel like the majority of TikTok is influenced by black culture, but I never see black people on my For You page. That just make it make sense. You can be racist, just keep it to yourself. I don't agree with it. I definitely feel like it's a bad thing to be racist, but then again, everything is subjective. You know, y'all are, y'all are bold. Ranch is the best condiment. Syrup is unnecessary, to be honest. Let me find out that y'all are eating dry ass pancakes and waffles. Electric chair. If you can only save one, you should save your husband over your kid. No, save your kid. Like, your kid did not ask to be here and you're just gonna let him drown. <laughs> the church institution is really toxic. All the hate they exude, the homophobia, slut shaming, sexism. Um, I feel like this is true for like certain churches. I wouldn't like group all churches as this. I personally am not like heavily into Christianity or anything like that, but I definitely see where you're coming from. I had a homophobic ass pastor. I just, one day I think he was talking about like how it wasn't Adam and Steve, it was Adam and Eve, and I just kind of lost all respect. Your YouTube channel isn't bad. Um, you know, I don't know whether to be hurt or honored. Open relationships should be normalized, for sure. I think that not everybody's priority in life is 
a monogamous relationship and I think that's totally okay. It's disgusting that people are just so caught up in what everybody else is doing and not their own life. Like literally do what makes you happy and just have respect. Ghosting is okay. Now I touched upon ghosting in my unpopular opinions relationship edition video and people were hurt. I definitely don't feel like ghosting is okay in all situations. I feel like it can be very immature because you need to deal with your emotions and work through them. But in some situations, people are dangerous, people are toxic and sometimes I don't feel like you need to necessarily bring things to people's attention because people know what they be doing. And sometimes people are just waiting for you to bring it to their attention to stop and it's just like kind of shitty. Hulu is 100% better than Netflix. I love Hulu. Hulu has so many great movies and shows now and I only pay five have bucks for Spotify and Hulu, so I definitely feel like it's a wave that more people should be on. Some country songs slap, baby. When I was in elementary school, Taylor Swift was my bitch. Like, picture to burn? Life is overrated, LMAO. I think we're all being set up. Why are we the only species that pays to be here? Unpopular opinions are popular. Is this unpopular or popular? I agree. I think people are just afraid to say shit. And I said that in past videos, but I definitely feel like a lot of people have the opinions in unpopular opinion videos. It's just not as expressed as other ones. Everyone cannot be trash. Sometimes we're the problem and need to improve facts. Cause I can be shitty as fuck sometimes. I'm not even gonna hold you. I have talk with traits that I need to work on. I think one of them is just blocking people. I block people like every day. Pretty privilege is real. Saying it's not invalidates the feeling of those negatively affected by it. Every social media career enters the chat. In popular opinion, money can buy happiness. I agree. I feel like at least in a capitalistic society, a lot of happiness is tied to how much money you have and it's honestly kind of sad, but I definitely feel like I would rather cry in the Bahamas than Maryland. Relationships are overrated. Um, I don't think that they're overrated personally. I feel like we're humans and we need that kind of interaction. I feel like this generation, it's harder to get those deeper connections because everybody's afraid of feeling and catching feelings, even when it comes to like platonic relationships. But I don't think that they're overrated. I think that they're really essential to our development. Sometimes we thrive when we are around other people. So I don't know. The last one that we have here is being quarantined is not all that bad. I agree, but this comes from a place of privilege because what I do isn't necessarily impacted as much by coronavirus, but not everybody is in a situation where they are making money or they're just like happy I think people that have mental illnesses or just like toxic situations at home are probably like really struggling right now and my heart goes out to them completely. I think for some people it's a great time and for other people it's not and both are completely okay. So yeah, that has been my reacting to your unpopular opinions. I'll definitely do more of these in the future if you guys want me to. Make sure to let me know what your unpopular opinions are in the comments down below. I'm going to be giving a merch shout out. And my next merch shout out goes to, I think it's Chanel Los. I'm hoping. But thank you so much for purchasing merch. It helps a lot. I don't have any merch out right now, so unfortunately you can't cop a hoodie or a shirt, but I will be coming out with more merch later on this month, so stay tuned for that. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.